So, how to read a line of text in C? We want to read a whole line that is uh, typed on the keyboard by a user and we want to get that whole line inside our program. How can we do this? Let's first declare some variables. So let's say text, that's the text that we want to read. Let's allocate 100 uh, characters for it. Let's print a nice message like um, type a line of text here. Okay, and let's, let's use the a function that you may have used in the past. All right, let's first try that. Um, let's use scanf. And inside of scanf, we use the string specifier. And here we type in the text. Text since text is an array, um, text itself is uh, really a pointer to that array. So it's fine, we can just type it in here. We don't have to uh, add an address to it. It would be the same result, but we don't have to do that. Don't worry about it. And lastly, let's try to print it on the screen. You type you type the line percent s. And here we go with the text. And if I try to run this, here's the program and let's let's type in, I don't know, um, something. And hit enter. Yeah, nice, that works. Okay, let's try something else. Let's try um something more and hit enter let's see what happens oh well we have an issue here we only got something from the te from the line and the uh, second word didn't get included right so even even though we actually um printed the whole line of text okay no problem you could technically read every single word but what we want to accomplish here is read as many words as possible right up until the user hits enter. Okay, a way to do this with scanf is to use a special specifier here that says take in everything that is not a backslash n. And backslash n is uh, the new line character and that means that, uh, and, and it's added once you hit enter. So that means that we're gonna read everything up until that enter we so if we try to run this and type in something more, hit enter, we, we get the line that we wanted, something more. That's great, that's amazing. But the problem here with this is that if you try to run this twice, so let's say I am gonna just copy and paste this whole thing, just say text uh, two here, text two and text two, do the exact same thing, we try to run this, and we say something more, something really bad happened <laughs> and you won't notice it. Like, it. It's not obvious what happened here. So let's also add a back session here. So if I try this again, something more, right? So you type the line, something more. That's great, That's that works. But then it says type a line of text here and then just jumps to you type the line something garbled text. What's happening here exactly? Well, you see, a, the standard input is basically a buffer, right? So you have something that you take from, okay? And scanf says, all right, well, take everything, everything that is not, that, that's a not in uh, regex, so no, that is not a backslash n. So it's gonna go, okay, well, you typed in something more and then backslash n. So I'm gonna just take everything behind backslash n. Cool, and now we have a backslash n inside the buffer left after this scanf. Now, the issue is when the second scanf comes in here, it says, okay, well, let me get everything behind that scanf, uh, that uh, backslash n, um, and it looks, well, okay, here's the backslash n. Let me take everything behind it. Well, there's nothing there, nothing to take there, but scanf didn't um, take everything after the backslash n. So the issue here is that the backslash n is left in the buffer and there's no way uh, for scanf to know that that was there beforehand. All right, so we have to take that backslash n from the buffer. To accomplish this, we can 
albeit a, bit, a little bit hacky, we can simply say get char. Okay, and what that will do, it usually returns a character, right, from the buffer. But we don't have to treat, let me see the signature, right, it says int c decal, and that int is actually the character in, um, in decimal. All right, so get char just gets one character from the buffer, and if I try to run this, you will notice that, let's say, something more and something even more. And you will notice that we get both lines of text um, over there. All right, so this works. This is a bit hacky, but you will have to do this every single time you read uh, from scanf, right? Okay, that's, that's a way to do it. That's a way of reading a line of text from uh, the input, the standard input. But a better way of doing this, and that, that is recommended by everyone on the internet, is to use a function. So let me just, I'm going to comment this two guys out. Hope it's still understandable. So to use a function called fgets. So fgets, and this function has, uh, takes in three parameters. Okay. First is where you want to put the string you want to read, that is text. Next is how many characters you put um, in that text, right? You notice that in the scanf we don't specify that, which means this string that we read can be as long as you want. It's just going, going to paste it here, even though, even though it might go past the memory allocated, right? We only allocated 100 bytes, but what if we type in 1,000 bytes? Well, that those bytes are going to be uh, saved after this uh, variable here. Okay, and in uh, this case, we don't suffer the same problem. We can specify exactly how many uh, characters we can read, which is in this case, a 100 characters. Okay, and one more thing we have to specify, uh, since this is mostly for uh, file reading operations, uh, we can actually use the std in file descriptor, which means take um, input from the standard input from the keyboard. All right, that's what this function is. And now, if I try to print this, so let me just delete this whole thing. If I try to run this, it says type a line of text here. And if I say, I say something more and hit enter, you notice it works. But there's an issue, why is there one, one space in between this and this? Um, it looks a little bit different, right? It, you won't notice it unless you used that string somewhere else. So let's uh, iterate over the whole text that we read and see what's up, okay? So I'm, ju I'm just gonna use a for loop here. So for, uh, let me declare an i here, i equals zero, i less than str len of text and I++. Plus plus. And I also want to see the backslash zero at the end. I want to make sure that it's actually there. So let's say uh, less or equal than strlen, right? So we're we're not going over the size, we're just iterating over the last element as well. Okay? And then just print f that character. So we go percent, not percent c, let's do a percent d and find out the decim decimal value of uh, the character. All right, so if we do text of i here, and we also print f a backslash n so that that's separated. Let's see what happens. So if I type in here, let's type a simple, simpler uh, line of text, let's say a, 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 and hit enter. And here are the values of each of the character inside that text variable. All right, well, Let's find out what all those means. So I have here a uh, the ASCII table with me open, and let's uh, analyze this a little bit. All right, we have first the character 97. 97 is where is it? Let's up to the right a little bit more. Aha, uh -huh, it is. All right, is the lowercase character a? That's cool. Okay, that's great. That that's what we uh, gave as an input. 
Okay, and now we have, so we have another 97 and that's repeated three times, we know that. Then there's a 10. What is 10 exactly? Well, 10 is this LF or a new line feed or new line character, right? That's exactly this character that we have typed in. So you can notice that fget also saves inside the text variable the enter, right? The enter that you pressed at the end of the text. What you usually want to do is remove that uh, backslash n by simply doing text off and let's see what what do we want exactly well we would know that we know that uh, str len returns the number of characters be, uh, up up to zero but not including zero right so we have str len is four right so we want str len of text which is four but the index is uh, counting up from zero, so we want minus one, right? This is zero uh, character, first, second, third. So that's the third one that we want to replace with a backslash zero. To do this, you just simply say strlen of text minus one equals, and you can type it in as a simple quotes, single quotes, and backslash zero, or you can just use uh, equals zero if you want. It's exactly the same thing. Okay, and now, if I try to run this, line of text, um, let's see, something more. If I type in something more here, you will notice that we don't get a 10 at the end here, right? We only get 801, which is probably the E so I'll be out uh, there. Let me just run this again with AA and hit enter. As you can see, we no longer have that 10 in between 97 and zero. We only have that zero. So the best way to read a line of text in C is using this F gets function. Don't use the scanf as it can cause a buffer overflow right? You, you can't specify the size, or actually you can kind of specify it, but it's a little bit janky and you will get yourself into more trouble if you use that. Um, so use fget for reading a line of text uh, where you can specify exactly how much you, you can store inside that uh, variable and just uh, replace the backslash n with a backslash zero so keep this in mind whenever you want to read a line of text, use fget, don't use scanf, don't use scanf percent s, don't, don't use this thing, it's not, it's not recommended to use this thing, this is probably the best way to do it. So thanks for watching and I hope you have learned something from uh, this lesson.